Hi, how are you? Hope you guys had a great weekend this weekend. Um, I did absolutely nothing on Saturday. Um, except for lay in bed, watch a lot of TV and get some rest and then spent Sunday doing stuff with uh, the family, you know? So the usual stuff, I hope you guys had a great time. I have um, had a great question from last week that I wanted to answer one of the one of the viewers, which it was also a uh, former patient of mine, was coming here for some elbow pain and some wrist pain. And one of her concerns was, does um, does carrying a um, does carrying a big heavy purse um, does carrying a big heavy purse hurt the shoulder? Now, women from all walks of life for the longest time have been carrying big heavy purses on their arms. Um, I would recommend though that, I mean, it's we're never gonna stop. I myself carry a big purse and um, I have kids and so when I have kids, um, I just like stuff all my stuff in there. I stuff their stuff in there. So over time it does get heavy. So one of the biggest tips I have to give you is if you can every once in a while go in there and see what stuff you can take out. Sometimes I have a lot of my mail in there. Um, as ladies, we probably have our makeup bag and you know our wallets and all sorts of extra things. Um, but every once in a while you can go in there and see what you can take out. But it's not so much about carrying the heavy bag that's bad for your shoulder. Actually, if, if you're carrying a really heavy bag over time, you would actually strain more your back than your shoulder. But one of the biggest issues with carrying a big heavy purse is when you are um, uh, putting your purse away, right? So let's say you're driving. One of the biggest example, one of the best examples I have is when you get into your car, you got this big heavy purse. You could reach and put it out to the side of you, right? Um, and that's that's no problem because it's right there. You can just like take it off and put it right there. But a lot of times, if you're reaching behind you, you'll do this um, stretch behind you and put it behind you and that is going to strain your shoulder in um, in a in the maximum position it could be strained with a heavy weight on the end of your arm which can then hurt your shoulder so I would recommend to not do that the other thing is when you're getting out of your car now you're gonna reach for that same bag same big heavy purse that you put back there to try and grab it and you're going to try and lift it from with your arm always stretched back there so I would recommend not to do that that is how you can actually hurt your shoulder um, sometimes you feel <laughs> hi Charlie you need help I can help you you have to um, let me know how I can help you okay um, so I, um, so one of the things that I recommend is that you, before you get into the car, open your back seat and put your purse in your back seat. And then when you um, come out of your car, wherever you're going, you want to get it, get out of your car, get out of your seat and, and walk back and grab it versus reaching all the way back with the end, with that heavy weight on the end of your arm. Anytime that we are doing something in that extreme motion with a heavy weight on it, it can, it really can hurt your arm. It can really hurt your shoulder. And a lot of times we might feel the tug, we might feel the pull, we might um, feel it, you know, click or pop or something, but it doesn't really hurt at that time and might feel a little sore, but sometimes that is that um, key indicator when it starts to fall apart for your shoulder over time. So if you do have some shoulder pain, we have a free shoulder report that um, we can send you like Charlie. If you have some shoulder pain and you would like to have some help, you can um, message me. I'll message you too to see what, for, what you're having trouble with. And then let me see if I can answer your questions more specifically. Today, that was uh, one of the questions we have on how do big bags hurt your shoulder? Well, it doesn't hurt your shoulder if we can, um, you know, make sure that we're using it right, lifting it right, and um, not like overreaching behind us uh, to put our to put our bag down or even to lift it up. 
Okay, um, anyone else have a question, please make a comment below and I will make sure that I get to that next time. Hey Dean, um, thanks for joining. Love it when you join. <laughs> Um, all right, everyone, that is my tip for today. Um, just don't carry the big bag. I'm a, I love big bags. <laughs> no one's going to stop us from getting the big purses and the big bags. Right, May Dennis? Right. It's very fashionable. We love it. We have a lot of stuff to carry. Um, <laughs> you know what? My husband does that. Don't smile. And then you end up smiling. If you have a gym bag, it's the same thing. You know, you, you put it over... You put it over your shoulder like you would normally do. It's just when it hurts you, it's when you're overreaching or you're reaching from far away or your arm is rotate, your arm is twisted all the way in the, you know, in a really outstretched position. Then when you go to lift something um, super heavy, you do. You know what? That's called a messenger bag. <laughs> um, and you can get, no, don't, don't get one of those. Uh, well, you can, you can, what are those, what are those called? Those little pouches, those fanny packs, fanny pack. But they make really nice ones now, Dean. That way you can carry your phone, your keys, everything. Um, and without having your wife carry it. That's what my husband does to me. He's like, oh, let me put your, my stuff in your bag. So my purse gets, <laughs> that's right, that's my, my purse gets heavier and heavier. But uh, there's nothing wrong with carrying uh, heavy bags. We, we do it all the time. Uh, it's just a matter of doing it right so you don't hurt yourself. But if you do hurt yourself, which, you know, occasionally happens over time, um, our bodies go through a lot of wear and tear. And if it does happen, you know that you can always ask us and uh, we will always help you to find the best solution possible to help you with your pain, all right? So thank you so much for joining, and if you have questions, leave me a comment below, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye, guys.